All right, well today I've got this uh, coil that is uh, reported as freezing up and I got here a little bit ago. It did have some ice build up right around the bottom portion of the coil, so I've already defrosted it. And I'm in the middle of uh, troubleshooting these thermistors that you see right there. So we've got the green one that it actually, it actually connects up to the, uh, the U-bins that are over here on this side. And that's going to be the green one. And then you've got, or I've got, the orange one right there, which mounts on the suction line. And that one is measuring um, the, the temperature of the suction line for superheat so that it can adapt and adjust and regulate this electronic expansion valve. So those sensors, if something's wrong with them, it could cause a lot of different things to happen. And so to test them, I've, I've come up here above the case, or above the, the giant cooler, the whole seafood meat department. And so up here we've got the wires. So here is the green one, which I've already pulled apart and tested. I might do it again though on the camera, just for the purposes of the camera. And then I've got the orange one here, and I'm connected to it. And it's doing something very weird. It's, as it's cooling down in there, I have my my meter on it, and let's see, show you. And the it's the strangest thing because the value, the resistance is going down when it should actually be going up. Because if you look over here, this is a chart for the green sensor, but the green one and, and the orange they're, they're exactly the same. The resistance on them is the same. But if you look. So we've got, I came loose. So you can tell that the, this resistance measurement is going down and the unit's on, it's getting colder in there. So this is, this is the chart for the green one here. And then this is the chart for the orange one. You see how they just got it messed up. These, they're exactly the same. Like it's negative 40, it's 300, or yeah, 336,000 ohms, but over here it doesn't say thousand. They just messed up on the chart. But the point is, what I'm trying to say is, as temperatures get colder, resistance goes up and gets greater. But as this one, as it's getting colder, resistance is going down. So you see at 20, let's say 21 ohms, 21,000 ohms. We should be around 47 degrees, but as it gets colder, these ohms resistance should be going up, not down. So I think there's something wrong with it. And I think that's why it's making my um, coil freeze up. This is the second time somebody's had to come out here. We had a technician out here in June, like a month and a half ago, and it's doing the same thing again. So I'm gonna change the thermistor and, and, and try to get my readings again and watch what happens I only have a green one I don't have an orange one with me but it doesn't matter because they, they they resist the same way so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna see what's going on here okay so I pulled my green one out of the bag now so I've got it connected there you see so it's measuring 7.35 so we go to 7.35 so that thing is like 90 degrees like perfect 90 degrees but so I'm gonna put it in my hand and let's see which way it goes. It should go, as it gets hotter, it should go down. Look at that. It's going down. I'll be a son of a bitch. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna put a green one for now. Maybe I'll come back with an orange one. I don't know, I don't care. But look, they got these wires, you know, in there, which is nice, it's, I mean, it's done well, but you know, if you want to change it and you want it to you want to don't have any connections in between here and your sensor how the hell are you supposed to get it out anyways i'm going to just cut it out down there and then and then connect it with uh connectors down there and then we'll come back up here and we'll measure these same orange leads and see what's going on Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Got the thermistor connected. Make sure to have you know really good connections in here. 
you know, strip them back nice, make sure they're con connecting well, make sure that's nice and tight, at least as tight as these little straps can get them, and then wrap it with little insulation like that. Okay, and then back at it up here to see what we read. It's the moment of truth. All right, they are connected. Look at that, it's going up. It's getting colder in there, so it's going up. That's fantastic. That's what it needs to be doing. When you check the thermistors, that's what they need to do. Okay? If you're ever in doubt about something like that, and you're like, that don't make no sense. That's because it's probably right. It doesn't make any sense, and that's wrong. So let's see, 19.72 K ohms puts us at 50 degrees, which is like pretty much what that line is, 50 degrees. Good. So now this thing will read superheat properly, and it will regulate that um, electronic expansion valve through the computer, central computer of the store, and hopefully not freeze up anymore. So, that's going to conclude this little video. Thanks for watching.